Send WhatsApp to him with text. Please ignore this. I am testing something. All right. Looks like it worked. Maybe not completely, but we're getting somewhere. This is a pretty new feature, so I'm sure it will get better with time. It's pretty crazy that your phone doesn't even need to be online for this to work. And also the fact that you get confirmation on your watch that the message has been sent. Hi guys, welcome back. It's Rack and today we'll be covering the second version of Google Assistant that's currently possibly installable on your Galaxy Watch 4. So it's been a while since I posted my previous Galaxy S uh, Google Assistant video. So but as you can see, Alberto115, the creator of this version of Google Assistant had contacted me via email asking whether I'd be interested in making a video on the Google Assistant app. Now, this is a third party app, so you are giving someone access to your account. I'll go through the process and install it and show you guys what it's like. It's, it's up to you how much you want to trust a third party developer. He seems pretty genuine to me and I feel like it's fine, so I'll go ahead and do it. But keep in mind, this isn't official, this isn't Google's app, so, but I'll just show you, show you guys how to install it because it is more tailored and it is a great, it's a great app in itself, so I think it deserves some attention. So, essentially you're gonna be going through the method I showed in my previous video in installing this, um, this marketplace for your Galaxy Watch. And when you do that, you can see the market is available here. It's by Alberto. You're going to be allowing debugging and you've got access to all sorts of apps, right? But you, what you don't see here is the Google Assistant. Um, so for the Google Assistant, you'd be required to make a donation. So this is a five pound donation to Alberto through PayPal. And after that's done, you will uh, theoretically get access to the app. So let's test that out. So as you can see, I've come to alberto115.com slash where store. Um, and after that, you would want to download and get the, th get the thing ready like I showed before. And just hit that um, download button, download it, then hit donate. So after you donate, all right, so I'm just going ahead and making the payment after which I'll get back to you guys, you know, because I'd, I want to make sure that this app works the way it's intended. Alberto did offer the app to me. I did want to go through with making the donation because I want to follow the method that you guys will follow and make sure that this thing is functional. So yeah, let's, let's do it. So it looks like it's actually five euros, which amounts to four pounds 34 and it would be different in US dollars. So yeah, um, let's do it and hope for the best. So we're just donating now and thanks for donating this amount to Alberto. So I, th I I'm guessing we'd want to copy the transaction ID then direct it to this link. It's where store bot. I don't have telegram. I guess I need to download it. It is. So let's download it from here. All right, <clears throat> so a bit of hunting around and I found the link to the bot that will help. Yeah, all I'm doing is, so I click the link that you find in the description. You've got to make sure you've got Telegram installed um, and it's going to function through Telegram, it seems. You get a warning that your wear store must be installed. So make sure that's installed and ready on your watch. Now let's take a look again. So let's go to enable donator account. I need a valid email such as, okay, just give an email. So, so now they want your watch serial number. 
So I'll just pop in the serial number that you can find in your settings. Scrolling all the way down to about watch. And if you scroll down, there you have your serial number ready for you to insert. So I'll just put mine in. All right. So as soon as you insert your code, you'll be, you'll get a message saying, congratulations. I added you reopen the store for viewing donator apps. Thanks for donating and have a good day. So if we, I'll just close all the apps to make sure we've got a fresh start. Go down, go on the wear store. I think the colors just changed, hasn't it? But yeah. And we've got the assistant available here. Looks very promising. So uh, this is a beta version. Keep that in mind. It's going to have some bugs here and there potentially. Okay, so we're just installing. This looks very exciting. I'm actually quite curious. This is also my first time checking this app out. So let's find out what, what it's like together. So just click on done here. Just go back. And there we have the Google Assistant. What's this? Check your browser. We opened a web page with the instructions to follow. All right then. And this site can't be reached. <laughs> so clicking on my account here to try and create the JSON file. Let's call this Assistant API. I'm going to select that project, click on search, assistant API, click on Google assistant API. Hit enable. After which you want to click create credentials. Select an API, this will be Google Assistant API. Tap on user data, hit next. In app name, simply put assistant. User support email, this is your email. And again, in developer, developer contact information, that's your email once more. Save and continue. Uh, skip all of this, save and continue. And here, TV and limited input devices will be your OAuth client ID. In name, I don't think it matters, maybe, but I'll just put in assistant. So create. So now you have the option to download your credentials. There we are. Do note that I tried this in Samsung internet and it didn't work. So I don't think you should use Samsung internet when doing this. I did this uh, whole process on Chrome again and now it's worked so yeah bear that in mind make sure you use chrome so after you've done that after you've got this downloaded and that was um the developer simply contacting me asking me where i was stuck which i just figured out right now so he's very supportive and he'll guide you through if you do need any help so yeah i've just done that now hit done and now all I want to do is hit that drop down menu, go to OAuth consent screen, hit publish app, confirm. So after you've published it, that's all good. You want to go to the watch, get the QR code up. Actually, we don't need the QR code as it just came up. Pull in your serial number, choose the JSON file you just installed or downloaded rather. And now that's that. The credentials have been added. You gotta make sure that the assistant app is open the whole time on your watch during this process. And it said to wait 30 seconds. So I've waited 30 seconds and then I guess reopen it. And then just select the account you want to use with the Google Assistant. That should 
come up on your phone screen. As you can see, the app will have access to pretty much your whole Google account information. So I think it would be fine to trust the developer, but I'll leave that for you guys to decide on how you work around that. Uh, but I would be careful and I'm saying it for your good because I care about you guys. And I know I could just say, heck, go for it. But we've got to keep in mind this privacy and security factors. Google has failed to provide us the official application as of yet. So you've got to make some compromises here and there. So let's continue and see what we have. Please copy this code to your application and paste it there. So then you want to just uh, insert this into the, insert the key into here and click on send. Process is complete. And now you check your watch. Okay, so we got that. We're in. Can you hear me? You can hear me. Can I help you? Oh shoot, that's my other Google. So let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. What's the capital of China? Beijing is the capital of China. So yeah, as you can see, the interface is pretty nice. You know, I really like this interface. Um, I won't be able to control my house right now because the email is not the same as the Google Home email as such, but I'm pretty sure if you were to have the same email, you'll be able to connect and control your lighting. After doing that, you can simply go over to your settings and register the Google Apps to your shortcut. Double press to go to your assistant. What's the time? 2.36 p.m. I'll probably do a review on it later on. Uh, if you guys would like that, drop a comment down, let me know. This was essentially just how to install it. And um, yeah, obviously the installation process is a bit more complicated in this one, it seemed. So I'll see if it's worth it and let you guys know. Now let's check out WhatsApp. Configure WhatsApp. And we've got a QR code. All we want to do is go for our WhatsApp, click on link devices. Now you have to have multi-device beta joined. So now that I've joined the beta, link a device and go ahead and scan your watch. And now we're joined. Send a WhatsApp message to with text, I need to do my grocery shopping. It looks like it worked. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Take care. This is Rack signing out.